Yeah, this one came in for, it's just been on an accident. The whole side over here is all accidented up. I don't know the story though. I know the guy wants to get it to pass smog. He uh, don't know if he's like a dealer or owner or whatever. I don't know. Um, but I think this went to, to uh, like a body shop or something at some point. And it had like four, six codes, all sensor codes, uh, circuit high, circuit low, um, both high and low for the same issue. Like these, uh, these little blinds in there or the, uh, what do you call them? The, um, the air, de the air deflectors or air, I call them blinds, stupid, I know, but. There's a little uh, motor in there, like a little uh, uh, right in here uh, that sh opens and closes them to block to, to block air and to like deflect it. Um, there's another one down here. There's more down there. Some of the codes that I was getting was for these these up here, these down here, and this uh, air air temp barometric pressure sensor. So before going crazy and all that, just go, you know, put, put, put some eyes on it, look at it and... Hold on a second. Hello? Hey, what's up? The exhaust uh, under the canopy? Tumberto, he needs me to check out the exhaust under that canopy. Dude, this is one of the best flashlights, this little Olight right here. I got the special, I got it way cheaper because it's, a, it's a, like a Christmas design. It's always Christmas with me. And uh, I'm always opening up boxes, and so it's always Christmas around here, always opening up new parts. Arre, compa! Oh, it's in the back right here. Is it yeah. It's uh, right there. Though. Okay. I already cleaned them up. Uh huh. JJ came and told me to clean them up and show them to you. So you had an ex you had an exhaust leak? Right. Right uh, there, right? Yeah, in the okay. back, which connected to this one and this one. Okay. Uh, yeah. But, um... On this one right here? Yeah. Were, no. both, were, were both of the bolts there? Yes, they were. And how easy were they to remove? Mm, I soaked them up with WD-40, and so it was pretty easy to me. It was pretty easy? Yeah. Like, do you think it was easy, not because it was a WD-40, but because they were loose at some point? They were kind of loose? Maybe. Yeah? Maybe they were loose. Yeah. Was there any chuck? This, this was there one like was it? Missing, sure. This one was missing? Yeah. That but one. it was leaking here? Yeah. Not, not here? No, I had, okay. I had a bunch of buildup around it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so... I mean, this looks, it doesn't look like it's damaged. I mean, this looks pretty good. Right here. Um, when we put it back together, because that's the, to get to do that, that's the cats or, or you yeah. know. Um, when we put it back together, the only reason why I ask if it's, if it, if it took too much chugga chugga to take it, to take uh, the bolt off. Yeah. Um, then it's like, okay, they were tight and it was still leaking. Yeah. You're like, okay, there's a problem. But well, let's say they were that tight, you know, right. then that's what I'm saying. Like maybe, um, maybe they were just loose, okay. you know, and they kind of work. Cause you know how something loses, it's just going to work. Yeah. Like it, yeah. It's going to work with each other and it, it might, it might've, you know, kind of, um, worked a groove or something where it, so let's, once we put it back together, just keep that in mind and we'll, we'll make sure we tighten those bolts up really good. Okay. And then at some point, I don't know if, if somebody were to take, these bolts off. No, these look pretty good. Can just clean them up just like you did with these. Mm -hmm. This looks great right here. Mm -hmm. Just clean this up right, right here and then make sure that um, the, the, the threads in there, make mm -hmm. sure that those are clean as well. Like, um, I don't know if you can get one of those, uh, the, the, wires the cone, the wires. Yeah, and put it in there and, you know, try to clean those threads. Okay. Um, and then just put these in all the way in and out just to make sure that they that, that they uh that they actually do go in and out really easy because mm -hmm. you know how sometimes you can go in there you put stuff together rushing or whatever and then you get the gun to chugga chugga and you're actually not all the way in you're just kind of like it's like it goes and bam like you get stuck right here because of something in there and then you think you're good but it's really not mm -hmm. like you still need to go like this much in right. you know so just make sure that all the threads on that side's good this is good and then once we put it back together we'll tighten it evenly really good and then we'll check it but just make a mental or actually make a note of it to that that needs to be checked out once we put the engine and transmission all that back together that needs to make sure it be checked out okay so okay all right cool yep 
Did it work? Uh, I'm gonna barely try it out. Oh, got you. Uh, is it the same color wires? Uh, the only one that changes is this uh, yellow. So I'm assuming it's yellow on on gray because everything else matches. Everything else. Oh, I'll try that too. So I was gonna just try those two first. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't match, then okay, we'll have to figure out where the yellow goes to. All right. Yeah, this light's pretty sick. We have it has a black light. Nice. It has a laser pointer, which like really helps. So we have uh, one of these. Uh, oh, you remember that head that we looked at the other day yeah. with the valve seat? So some some debris went down into one of these cylinders, and the pistons all chewed up in there. And then check in the rest of the liners and, and all that. Uh, there's a bunch of cross hatching missing just in one section. And then it looks like the, some of the skirts of all of the pistons have been rubbing, which is pretty common on these internationals. But um, so we're going to do an in-frame on it and remove the liners, new pistons. This is the reason why people can't afford trucks anymore, man, because they have like all this stuff on a truck, like just to save like a teaspoon of fuel, you know, like. You have all those those shutters, shutters. There it is. They have shutters in there, right? And they have them down here, and then they have these things have like this 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 air dam that like at forty some miles an hour it like comes down, so that way it can reduce the airflow through there. And you know, it, apparently it's you know all to save on fuel and this and that. But like so for this, there's a motor for this. There's a little motor, there's a little electrical motor for, the, for these down here. And then there's two electrical motors for the air dam, you know. And then if you go online, you see that there, that, that stuff gets stuck and all that. And now, now you have uh, codes for, and then if you need to smog it, you need to fix all this electrical stuff on it, you know. So like right now, this one has had codes for that. And like I said, th this one's been to a, a, to a uh, uh, body shop. And I don't know what they, I don't know who was working on it, man. Like, I don't know if they just took it to a, a um, TIU and just let them have at it over there. Because, dude, like they put all this stuff back together and connected nothing. Like they didn't connect anything. So all these codes, basically, I'm just doing a visual inspection of all the codes and the components. This was disconnected. This one was disconnected. They took this bottom, that, that dam off, uh, that dam. They put, they took that dam off down here um so it's just i don't know that they want it back or whatever but if you have a code for emissions it, it would probably fail you know so i found this sensor disconnected all that there was one code left for the uh turbo uh turbo bypass valve which is located down by the intercooler mm -hmm. and it's just like a, a a solenoid that opens and closes to bypass turbo pressure um so what i did is i went on the uh Went on, went on on our on our manuals and checked to see okay is the fuse good the fuse is there and when you turn the key on the fuse right there when you turn the key on it it comes on uh, the, the there's there, there's uh, there's power on both legs of the fuse and so then I find the uh, I find the uh, the connector and you you have to check is there fuse is there power going to that pin number two before the connect before this connection there is now i check it on the other side and there is but when you go down to the to the to the uh um, bypass solenoid there's no power down there so somewhere around here from here all the way down there there's either a break or there's some corrosion or there's something going on right so um what i did was i wanted to make sure that that was that going to fix the issue so i just took a wire and I connected power from down over here, ran it kind of an order, just loosely ran it down to the uh, over, uh, the uh, uh, turbo bypass valve, connected that, turned the key on, code went away. So I know at least once I get power down there, it's gonna work. So now I just need to figure out like, okay, look, I, I don't know what this guy's gonna try to do. I can run an overlay and make it look really nice, right? I can put it in some shrink, uh, some uh, split loom, hide it, run it through with everything else and then connect power down there. Or I can take all this grill off and check it out. And this is, so he wants us to check everything out or whatever. So I'm gonna, t the next thing I'm gonna do is take this grill off. So that way I can get to the wire loom that runs up here and just see, you know. What I'm thinking though, 
I'm thinking there's probably going to be something else that's disconnected. Because man, like it, it's almost like they didn't. Other than the lights, they didn't connect anything else on the, on, on on this front end, like on this, which is which is crazy. So this is crazy. Look, I took this I took this off right here because I need to take. I already took these two bolts off to take the grill off, and then I needed to get to these bolts right here, which are gone already, and then this is gone for the headlight. So you get what you pay for sometimes, right? And, before we even took it off and it was working before. Yeah, I'm to like, I'm fire. <laughs> Bro, I called it. Oh my gosh. Another disconnected thing. Look. So this is a cat the sensor. Look, see? Another disconnected situation right here. Where there it is. Bam. Let me put this thing down. Dude, watch I connect all these wires and the truck goes into like a self-destruct mode like we left them disconnected for a reason huh oh this one was disconnected too right here this big old plug right here it was like in there and then they swept this thing back over but it wasn't connected all the way so there was like gang of codes going on i'm gonna go connect the the, the turbo bypass valve before i put this back together and then i'll get codes for this but at least i don't know why all right, so I'm just gonna like place this here just so I can connect this right here. This is connected. And then I'm just gonna check to see if we have, if those codes go away, have anything else that I have to like, hopefully if I, if I have to take this off, I'll have to do this connect this and it's already off. And if not, then I can just start putting it back together. So I'm gonna go get the, uh, the, Ford, the Ford scan tool. Okay, see, so I just ran the key on engine off test and the only, code i'm getting now from like six different codes when we started it's because everything was left disconnected is uh the um lost communication with with active air dam module it's still unplugged yeah yep so now we have just one code left out of six just one code and um it's just for the air dam so we'll uh figure it out we'll put that grill back together and then figure out what we want to do with the air dam uh, the right now is uh, u0645 lost communication with the active air dam module that'd be great that'd be awesome i know he did say that he once we told him that this whole situation was going on i think he did get on on the uh on the forums online um and he's like yeah i'm finding people are just like disconnect not disconnect them and he's like because they, they're getting stuck and they're doing whatever so yeah cool man awesome